Hey everybody, it's Chris over at Dixieland Farm and today I'm going to show you uh, my TV setup and uh, it's a little different than most people. We don't have satellite anymore. Uh, we do have a regular uh, TV antenna and I'm up on the tower. I'm going to show it to you real quick. And there it is. It's not too big. It's like uh, two foot by three foot. I'm going to come around here. There it is mounted. It's only up about 30 feet. And with this TV antenna, we're able to get both Charlotte stations and Greensboro stations. Uh, and with all the sub-channels, we average about 40 channels. And uh, this is connected. This antenna was only $50. And, uh, you know, you could just put it on your roof. I mean, you know, you don't need a big tower like this. I already had it for the, uh, the shortwave antenna that's up there for uh, my ham radio stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you the uh, computer part of it uh, in a second. All right, so we're gonna go back in the house here, and um, we actually have two computers set up. One computer records all of our um, TV, and then the other one actually uh, talks to that other computer, and that computer um, that talks to the other one is right here in our TV setup, so I'm watching uh, uh, An Idiot Broad 2 right now, and you see it's paused. I mean, it's just like a normal DVR. Um, but I'll show you in the main computer, just because it'll be a little bit easier. So. I've got two TV cards in this thing, and then that uh, little blue box is actually a third tuner that works over Ethernet. So I've got three tuners, and I can record up to six things. That's three different channels, and it's uh, three other multiplexes, you know, sub-channels. And it's got a web interface, so I hit MythWeb here, and it loads up the uh, software, so I can actually look at the listings um, and find stuff that way to record. Uh, also I can do searches uh, so um, I just hit new titles and every time you know new titles happen in September or whatever you know it'll come up with and I can set up rules then to record the uh, the TV shows and then it's got all the different rules. Um, I also set up my own little um, uh, virtual um, Receiver. It works over the Roku uh, that somebody um, somebody wrote. It's called uh, Myth uh, Roku, and um, it'll talk to this computer as long as the files are transcoded into MP4. So things like um, Family Guy and Simpson reruns that we like to watch, uh, we have them transcoded into MP4, uh, and so they're sitting up there on the Roku as well. So up in our bed bedroom, all we have is a Roku. That's the only thing that's hooked up to the TV up there, and it talks to down here or Netflix or whatever. And that's a little internet box that, uh, that works great. I highly recommend them. Uh, also, this software uh, is open source, uh, runs on Linux. It uh, also detects commercials. So after a program is recorded, it'll go back, look through the commercials, uh, you flag them, and then for the Roku, on some of the shows, I actually have them hard remove the commercials for me. So when I watch Simpson reruns, commercials have been automatically taken out for me. I don't see them. Um, same thing on Wipeout. We watch Wipeout as well. Uh, so, you know, that's another show that we like to watch, uh, you know, before bedtime, makes us laugh, and commercials are cut out. So that's another uh, cool thing about all this whole setup. And, uh, you know, so, so far, the only expense was $50 for the antenna, uh, the wire to bring it down. Now I had an old antenna that I actually, I, I had an antenna that I built out of a PVC and some chicken wire and um, some heavy gauge um, copper, uh, but a windstorm blew it down. I didn't build it well enough and I didn't secure it well enough. And so when it fell down, you know, we had already been into having this as our main TV. And I said, well, what happens when an ice storm comes or whatever? So that's why we ended up spending the 50 bucks for the TV antenna, you know, which is small. Uh, expense. What do you say, Lily? You trying to tell them? What are you trying to tell them? How about you, Millhouse? What? 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 Hello. Hi. <coughs> okay, well, we'll go outside and then we'll continue the tour. How about that? So, anyway, uh, we get up to about 40 <coughs> different channels and sub channels. And, um, you know, we haven't missed satellite at all. It's, uh, Saving us about a hundred bucks a year, a hundred bucks a month rather, so twelve hundred a year, which is you know almost a you know a free vacation. Um, so uh, we've been real pleased with it, and um, you know anything we like, we'd record. Um, 
because it's our hard drive. Uh, you know, I've got it on a three terabyte hard drive, so it's HD, uh, perfect quality. Um, you know, it's the best quality you can get. It's actually a little bit better than satellite and um, cable um, when it comes from the uh, TV antenna. And so let's load up the front end real quick, which is the software. So this is all the stuff that I have recorded. It knows when I've seen a show, uh, so it won't record it again. It gets stored in a database. And like I said, all the um, you know commercials have been flagged, so I can just skip them. And normal fast forward. And when I leave, you know, I can join at the um, you know point where I stopped. And so there's the commercial skip here. So then we start up again. Cut to the next commercial break. And again. So that's the DVR software that we have. And um, the computer in the living room I bought off of eBay uh, used. Uh, it was $75 shipped and then I paid $30 for a nice uh, TV um, capable video card. So it actually you know, that's a regular TV, so we have an S-Video. Um, if we wanted HDMI, we wouldn't have cost anything. Uh, the HDMI is already built into that computer, but we wanted the S-Video. So uh, Until we upgrade, that's what we've got. Uh, in the computer room here, of course, it's uh, full HD, but you know, I'm not going to watch TV on a computer. I just you know, I can't do it. Um, so that is our TV setup. If you have any questions or, you know, um, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you know, just leave me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll respond to you. Um, it's amazing, you know, how, uh, how much we don't really miss, uh, the, the, uh, the cable or whatever programs. Um, most of the stuff that we liked was on regular broadcast TV. Uh, the few shows that we, uh, we did like were available on Netflix streaming, um, maybe, you know, a season behind, but that's fine. You know, it was only eight bucks a month, which is, you know, price of two cups of good coffee. Um, so we do a lot of Netflix streaming. Uh, and the few other shows that don't show up um, are either available on Amazon, um, you know, for two bucks an episode. So like Tosh.0, oh, we like that show. And we'll just buy the episode and watch it. Uh, or it's available on the websites of the, the company. So like uh, South Park uh, is available that night on SouthParkStudios.com. And um, because it's a computer, we just watch it full screen on the TV. It looks great. It looks actually better than what we had on SD satellite. So... Um, you know, we're very pleased with everything and, um, that's it. Okay. Thanks.